but it has been a hot minute. Um, I feel like maybe next time we find a game we like this much, we won't put as many days in between. Because technically, we put 13 and a half hours into it, we still haven't gotten one of the endings in a game that has, what was that, nine? Nine different endings. And we're going to do them all eventually. I just don't want to take, I don't want to take any longer breaks in between. But here we go. Where are we? Uh, that's right. So we had done most of what we could on the right branch. We are, we took a vote and did the left branch next. And we're working down here. Excellent. Over here. Those doors are white. Shall we have a look then? That's right. Travis is here. Travis Willingham, my good sir. Whew. Chromatic door. Let me make sure I know where we are. So hold on. This is the, okay, blue door. The rec room. Okay, that's right. We had uh, the pool, the darts, the billiard table. Okay, and the night things. Okay, I remember that. And this is just after it. We've just gotten... Okay, I know where we are. Chromatic doors. They're all the same, though. Well, this one's locked. This one won't open either. No luck here. It looks like they have the same locking mechanism Joy, as Joy, happy Saturday. Doors. These will be the next doors. These will be the next doors to open. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. We should go get the we should let the others know. Right. Alice and I turned to go, but Kay stayed put. Is something wrong? No. I just feel as if I've seen this warehouse before. Uh, wait, you've been here before? Question mark, exclamation know. point. Perhaps I haven't been here. I mean, somewhere very similar. You mean the Floor A warehouse? Perhaps. An Ambidex gate has been opened. Okay, I know that's opening. But him saying that, Kay saying that, makes me think it's an actual person in there. Because it could mean that he has, um, like, gone back in time or jumped or whatever the heck the, the phrase is that we now know about in this game. Where it's an actual person. Because I don't think robots can do that, as far as I remember. 45 minutes. What the balls? Someone else must have opened one of the AB gates. Derp. Before we got back? I imagine they don't care what happens to the rest of us. That would be the most logical explanation. In any event, we should return quickly. I bet it's if it's Dio again, I wonder when we go down the other path, when we have Dio, if we can like stop him from doing that. We get to go we have to go through this little door. Which is nice. Like opening up the shortcut back to the front of the dungeon or something. Oh, jeez. What is this? What is the thing in my eye? What is it? Get it out! I can't see it. Ugh. And if I didn't say it already, happy Saturday to Sky, Schnazzy, and Joy, and everybody else lurking. Thanks for coming and going on a fun game with me today. I still don't understand the, the the thought process of making us have to go through every single one of those. Is it to add tension? Sigma? Where's Ten Yoji's team? Are they not back yet? Nope. We were the first. Then wait a little longer before you open the A B gate. It wasn't us. I tried to stop him, but. Uh, come on, it's not like when we open the door really affects the matches, right? It's cool. No, it's not cool. Your team returned quite early, Dio. Did your investigation go smoothly? I guess. Which room did you guys go to? The treatment center. Hmm. You don't say. How is that different from the infirmary? Uh, there were these 
pod things. Look, just go see for yourself, all right? I don't feel like explaining it. You took something from the treatment center, didn't you? Huh? What are you talking about? You did. I saw it, too. <laughs> After we opened the safe, you grabbed something out of it and put it in your pocket. Show us what you took. So wait, does he have the note me. about people dying? Clover shoved her hand into Dio's pocket and began to dig around. It should be in this one. Let go. PG stream. Before Dio could push her away, Clover found what she was looking for. They always find what they're looking for. I knew it. <laughs> oh, an injection gun! Neostigmine. What's this stuff for? Neostigmine? I don't know, but I feel like I've heard that name before somewhere. Neostigmine. We'll have to ask Luna. Give it back. I found it, so it's mine. The team found hey. it, you dingle. With a desperate lunge, Dio managed to grab the gun back from Clover. Before she had a chance to protest... Have any of you seen Quark? Anyone? Please! Quark, did something happen to him? I like he how much different it is. on the other side of the red door, but... After we left, he just... Disappeared. We've looked everywhere, but we can't find him. Hmm. Don't you think you're being a little optimistic there? Come on, that little jerk's probably dead by now. We've already found one corpse, right? What the hell is wrong Who with Who died you? in this? How could you? Why would you say such a horrible thing? Oh, wait, the, the old lady. Oh, simmer down there. Just saying it's a possibility. Well, even if it is, we should all start looking. I'll be looking for him. Yes. As we began to file out, I saw Alice staring intently into the corner of the warehouse. Okay. It seems strange, but looking for Quark was my priority. If you guys are wondering, I don't have to click anything because I have it on auto in the bottom right. I turned to head towards the magenta door. Toward the magenta door. <laughs> Quark! Are you in here? There's plenty of quarks in there, just not the one we're looking for. Guess not. Dang it. Let's try floor B. I like that room. That was a good puzzle room. Oji's team took the red door. They probably already searched that area pretty thoroughly, so I guess I'll try the blue one. Makes sense. Looks exciting, like in a closet. I really think he's he might be in one of the uh, the pods. As far as I'm concerned, that's the biggest possibility. Rec room. This is where we went. See him. He's not here either. Hmm. Where the balls did he go? I say, Cork, hurry up. Ah, Sigma. Any luck? Nope. Can't find him. I see. 
Uh, what about you? Uh, never mind. If you'd found him, you'd have said something already. That's... Indeed. Okay. I went to the treatment center, as well as the Floor B warehouse, but he was not there. Okay... Let's head back to the Floor A warehouse. Good idea. Perhaps the others have had more luck. Hmm... Well, did you find him? Uh, no. Couldn't find him anywhere. I... I see. Tried, dude. Are the three of you the only others to have returned? Yeah, we're it. Hmm. I'm guessing you guys didn't have any luck either. Otherwise, you know, Grandpa would yeah. be happier. No clues or anything. Okay. I don't get it. With this many people looking, it seems like we'd be able to find him pretty fast. Quark is only a child. It's possible he's become trapped in a small enclosed space. Uh, well, would we at least be able to hear him calling for help? Unless he's stuck in one of the uh, AB rooms. You're right. Quark. Hmm. Tenjimir's shoulders slumped. He looked old, much older than he had when we met. Hmm. I can see tears glistening at the corner of his eyes. He didn't cry for his wife, that we think is his wife, but he's crying for Quark. First moment I saw them all in pain, fear, and despair, and it felt like someone had put my heart in a vice. <laughs> then I realized it was a game. And I felt better. Then Dio appeared, and the mood suddenly changed. Hey! You guys, come here! What are you standing around for? They're in the crew quarters. They are in the crew Just quarters? Just come on! So wait, he found them? And it was right... Oh, gosh. Oh, wait. We went down. We went up this. Did we come down? It's like it was right next to where we were looking? No, I think it was on the... That was on the other floor. This is a floor A. Quickly, in room two. Why is Luna dead now? Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. Okay, a lot of people die in this one, don't they? This uh, branch. There was a roaring in my ears, breathing, heartbeat, but my footsteps sounded muffled, as if I was hearing them through layers of cotton. So she's still stabbed, we think, with a scalpel. Anyway, I pressed a shaking hand to Alice's neck. Her skin was still warm, but the only pulse I felt was my own. Looking down, it was clear why. Something had been driven into her chest so far that only the hilt was visible, and the entire front of her body was covered in blood. Finally, something was covering her chest. No one could, sur could survive something like that. I forced myself to swallow the stinging lump in my throat and turned toward Luna. Now, is that the same gun that Dio had? Unlike Alice, at first glance, seemed unharmed. As I reached for her neck to check for a pulse, however, I saw a red mark near her jawline. Nearby on the floor sat an injection gun. I already knew what I would find, but I pressed my fingers to her neck and waited. Nothing. They did. My God. What on earth happened here? That bastard killed them! Whoever it was that killed the old lady in the AB room. You're saying this is mystery person killed Luna and Alice? Maybe only one of them was supposed to be killed, but the murderer had to kill the other to keep them quiet. Or perhaps they killed one another. Luna stabbed Alice in the chest, after which Alice attacked her with the injection gun. 
That's pretty far-fetched. Yeah, if you're stabbed in the Look, heart, don't you just drop? Look at Alice's clothes. No sign of a struggle. I don't think they fought. There's not much of then clothes to struggle killed with. Then somewhere else and then brought here? Which... No. If that were the case, there would be much less blood. I guess that's true. Whatever the case, we have too few clues to figure it out right now. We'd all separated to look for Quark. Any one of us could have done it. You mean the killer is one of us? Do you think there's someone else in here? Well, we Do found the old lady. Zero Senior killed these two, as well as the old woman. I have no mm. idea. Oh, give me a break. How can you just sit around here talking? No point in making a fuss. Are you fucking kidding me? One of us is a killer. I can't think of a better reason. To I want to know where your gun is, Dio. Where's you your do uh, injection gun? You're the most likely suspect, don't you? Excuse me. You wait until the rest of us have gathered in the warehouse, then you kill Alice and Luna. You pretended to be the first to find them, and are you saying I did this? I'm saying it's I'm most just possible. It's you a possibility. Bingle. Yeah. You don't need to get so worked up about it. Ten minutes remain. Until gate That's right, we got two people dead and one missing. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. So if you don't vote, your choice is set to ally? Guess that means Luna's votes will be ally for this round. Yeah. Yes, it does. Perhaps that outcome is what the killer was after. They killed Alice and Luna for that? Who would Luna's opponent be, exactly? Quark and myself. One person is missing and the others bought the farm. I'd say this old fart's the most suspicious one here. You still you are, Dio. to my face? Yeah, you killed her so you could get a few more points in the A-B game. You an idiot? How do you explain Alice? She's playing against Kay, not me! Uh, not quite. Even without his partner Alice, Sigma will still be able to cast a vote as he wishes. Then maybe that's why Luna died. Maybe they meant to kill Sigma, but something went wrong and they... True. Mm. I suppose that is a possibility. I, we are engaging in pure speculation. Here. I want to know where Dio's there gun is. There's little to no evidence to support any of this. It's the only injection gun I've seen, and now we see one here. Let's probably head back to the warehouse. We should take their bracelets with us, then. Do they really matter anymore? Actually, yeah, they do. Without their bracelets, some of us would be unable to open the secondary chromatic doors. You're pretty calm, pal too calm. You did it, didn't you? A sterling deduction. I await your further insight. He wears a mask, therefore he is guilty, perhaps? <laughs> What'd you just say? I said you're an you idiot. Fucking with me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, get off. Is there really any point to arguing about this? Jeez. Agreed. We aren't getting any younger here. We are getting desensitized to murder around right now, aren't we? We should return to the warehouse. Alice. Come on, Clover, we gotta go. No! I'm not going anywhere. I can't just leave her here. If you don't vote, Dio might get out. Huh? He's got six BP right now. If you don't vote, you'll automatically ally. And I bet my left arm he'll pick Betray. That'd be three points, which will put him at nine. Once he's got that... There's nothing stopping him from opening the number he, nine. He'll door. just he'll freaking I'll try and pick get out of here. Of course, but Dio's not an idiot. He'll try and stop me or get in my way somehow. Dio will have nine points. Yeah. What are you gonna do, Clover? If you stay here, you might be letting Alice's killer get away. Fine, I'll do it. There's no way I'm going to let him get nine points. Good. Let's go. <laughs> See now he's now he's screwed. Well, probably maybe maybe not, I don't know. 
Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Hopefully we figure out what that um chemical does. The one that's in Dio's. I took a deep breath and unlocked the AB room. No matter how hard I looked for answers, all I found were more questions. Who had killed Alice and Luna? Where was Quark? I wasn't in any kind of mood to play along with Zero's ridiculous games, but at least at this point, I didn't have a choice. I heaved a silent sigh and started toward the entrance uh, to my AB room. Sigma, what would you say to voting ally? I would reciprocate, of course. You hmm? have five BP. If we both ally, then you will gain two points, leaving you with seven in total. Should you also cooperate mutually in the following round, you would gain another two points, bringing you to nine. Conversely, if you were to choose to betray me during this round, you would gain three points, for a total of eight. In other words, you will be unable to reach nine BP until the round following this one. That being the case, choosing ally is the most logical choice. Uh, true, but how many points do you have? Me? As I recall, you and Clover chose Betray in the first AB game. That means you should have six right now. If you betray me and get another three, you could get out get all the way to nine this round. Ah, yes, that is true. However, escaping as soon as possible is not my goal. Uh, but you picked Betray in the first round, didn't you? That was in the interest of my own safety. As I only had three points at the time, the prospect of losing two of them was very unsettling. Now that I have six BP, I have some room for error. Okay, do I feel like... I feel like I could trust K, to be honest, out of... If it was like between him and Dio, yeah. Why wouldn't you want to go out and get out of here as soon as you possibly could? Of course I would like to, but attempting to do so would be unwise. Hmm... You think so, Incism? Should be a robot. Why is that? Obvious? If I escape on my own, everyone else will be trapped here forever. Uh, what are you talking about? Have you forgotten what Zero told us? The number nine door only opens once! Once that happens, it's all over! It'll close for good after nine seconds, so if you're not careful, you can get stuck. Hmm. I trust you remember now? Mm hmm. So someone opens and escapes. Precisely. Did you not realize? Hmm. Perhaps I shouldn't have said anything. Hey, don't tell me you're planning to just leave us all in the lurch and. In the lurch? The lurch. I would never do that. Consider the following If I did manage to get to nine points before anyone else, do you think the rest of our companions would allow me to leave? No. Especially knowing that if they did, they would remain here for the rest of their lives? Well, no, of course, we'd stop you. You see? Working toward leaving as a group is the most logical choice for me. I would hit ally anyway, because I, I just choose to trust people. Until Our time is nearly up. I trust you will choose wisely. Yep. Yeah, of course. You too. And it's just us because our partner essentially is dead. Thirty seconds remain. Hmm. Cade made a compelling argument, but I still had to make my choice. Would he really choose to ally? If I choose ally and he chooses betray, he'd have nine points and I'd have two. Still, even if he did have nine points, he might not try and escape right away. Question was, how much could I trust him? How much trust could I give a man whose face I'd never seen? Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. It's okay, if he if he escapes, we'll just come back and pick the other one. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. In fact, we're going to do four, both. We're just first gonna pick three, Ally. Two, one. Voting has been recorded. Round two of the results. Thank you, Ambidex Gate. She has the slowest dialogue. I can't stand it. Okay, Warehouse A. 
Results from Please Direct. Oh, Luna. Okay, did it. So, if Quark were here, him and Kay could leave. Have been assigned or oh, gosh, Alice is... Okay, no, she dies now, but she's already dead. Check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. So, Kay was a jerk. He lied. Though we never actually agreed. Never actually agreed. What? So you did indeed choose ally. Yeah, you tricked me. I apologize. That doesn't help. Sigma, you fucking idiot. Now Kay's got nine points thanks to your stupid ass. I trust him more than you still. I apologize for taking further advantage of your trust, but I will be leaving. Yep. Before we could react, Kay slipped past us with speed and agility that belied his size. I bet there's a way to make him stop. We have to learn more. You welcome our buff new Zenyatta overlords. Kay! God damn it! Wait, you son of a bitch! Oh gosh. Okay, Dio is on my my list of people I don't like the most. He didn't give any sign that he'd heard Dio, just grabbed the lever and pulled it down. We are such gullible people. It's just me, actually. You guys are fine. Oh no! We could try and escape. We would just get blown up or something. The number nine door has been. It will remain. Why'd you do it? I trusted you, gang. The answer is obvious. Two. Excuse me, three people have already been murdered. If I remain, I place myself in greater danger. A simple decision, really. I'm sure you would have done... Balls! I, I do intend to contact the police as soon as I have escaped. Now then. Okay, wait! It didn't even turn around. Yeah, nine second conversation, by the way. Okay, well that was, I think this might be an actual end. Maybe. Which would be nice. The number nine door has closed. This ends the nonary game. Thank you for your participation. As the game is over, all doors other than the number nine door have been unlocked. Thanks. Escape is not possible. That you think of. Please enjoy your stay. Well, <sighs> he's gone. Damn it! This is all your fault, Sigma. I'm still gonna blame you, Dio. There's no point to blaming him now. Yeah, it's not like we can open that door again. Ah, damn it! No, this isn't right. This can't be right. We stood there in silence, staring at the door. The only exit to, outside, to the outside world, now closed forever. Our only chance of escape now was to hope Kay would keep his word and contact the police. Alice, Luna, the old woman, who had killed them? And where had Quark gone? There are questions we still hadn't answered, but we had plenty of time now. Perhaps we still would. Okay. I was like, is that going to be an actual end? I wanted an actual end. So we could have it on our little, our little thing. That doesn't show an ending? 